Dr. Marhumin, for the Marhumin of these Mominin, there are Salis of our Majlises today, also Marhumin of all Mominin and Mominat, always remember Shahdai Millat Jafriya, always remember Arwah of Ulmai Rabbani, always remember Arwah of Maraj Karam, especially Rehbar Kabir, and especially this week is for the Shahda. Shaheed Qasim Soleimani, Shaheed Mehdi Mohandas, and other uh, Shahada, please also recite one Surah Fatiha for their Arwah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin, yaka na'abudu wa yaka nasta'in, yaka nasirat al-mustaqeen, wa sirat al-latina al-hamza alayhim, ghayri al-mahdub alayhim, اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأنبات طابع بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك على كل شيء قدير متوجه زيارة السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيب الله السلام عليك يا حاتم الأنبياء السلام عليك أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك علي بن أبي طالب السلام عليك يا فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين السلام عليك يا حسن المجتبى السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر Wali ibn Musa wa Muhammad ibn Ali, Wali ibn Muhammad wa Al-Hassan ibn Ali. Assalamu alayka ya sahib al-asri wa al-zaman, Assalamu alayka ya khalifat al-Rahman, Assalamu alayka imam al-insi wa jan, Ajjal Allah ta'ala farajak, wa sahla Allah ta'ala makhrajak, wa zahurak wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we'll do Surah Yaseen followed by poetry, Inshallah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Yaseen. Wal Quran Al Hakim. Inna Kalamin Al Mursaleen Ala Siratim Mustaqim. Tazil Al Aziz Al Rahim. Litu Dira Kauman Ma آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثر فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مقمهون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فاخشيناهم فهم لا يبصرون وسواء عليهم ما ذرتهم أم لم تذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون وما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لإن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم ولم يسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أَإِذُكِّرْتُمْ بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمٌ مُسْرِفُونَ 
وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أتخذوا من دونه آلهة إن يردن الرحمن بضر لا تغني عني شفاعتهم شيئا لا تغني عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ظلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل ادخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جهود من السماء وما كنا موزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نقيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره, ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم لا الشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن شأن نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم يوقظون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنتعم من لو يشاء الله أتعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينظرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يقسمون فلا يستطيعون توصية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا ما بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون هم فيها فاكية ولهم ما يدعون سلام قولا من رب الرحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون 
ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم أن لا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن اعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون أسلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفرون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكس في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر ما كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينصرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جود محضرون فلا يحزوك قولهم إنا نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم يرى الإنسان أنا خلقناه من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العلي العظيم I shall just request for Surah Fatah on behalf of my family for my dad Sayyid Shakir Hussein Rizvi son of Sayyid Ansar Hussein Rizvi al Fatiha. Inshallah, we'll have uh, poetry by Brother Salar. So please welcome him with the Salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Fatima al-Zahra wa Abiha. بالحا و بنيها السر المستبد عفيها بعدد ما أحاط به الموج. This is the last night of Fatima. Let's take our hearts to Medina, to the house of Amir al-Mu'minin. Asma bint Umay says, "I was with Fatima, salam Allah عليها, when she told me, 'Ya Asma, I will go rest for some time, and then you call me. If I respond, then it shall be so. But if I don't respond, be aware that I have joined my Rasul, that I have joined my father, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam." Asma says, I sat down reading the Quran. After some time, I called her, Ya Mavlati, Ya Zahra. But she never replied back to me. I called her again. Ya Benta man kana man rabbihi gaba gawsayna av adna. She never responded back to me. 
I called her for a third time. Ya bentemen sallallahu ve malaikat sama. She never replied back to me. I went back to her room. I removed the cover from her face. I saw that Fatima has joined her father, Rasulullah. Azzam Allah lakum al-aj. Ya shiyat Fatima. Laqad matat Fatima. She said at that moment, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein came back to the house and they asked, Ya Asma, Aina Ummana Fatima. Ya Asma, where is our mother Fatima? She said, I didn't know what to say. She said, I, I told them your mother has gone in a long sleep. They replied, Ya Asma, ma yonimu ummana fi Our mother doesn't sleep at this time. Asma replied, Laysat ummukuma naima qad faragat dunya Your mother hasn't gone in sleep. She has joined Rasulullah. Asma says, then I told them, go and say give this news to the this, your uh, father amir al-mu'minin <laughs> then they rushed to the mosque and in, on the way uh, the group of companions saw them and said why are you crying ya uh, children of rasulullah they said Ummana Fatima got mad our mother fatima has joined our grandfather rasulullah when Amir al Mu'minin heard this news, you know what happened? <laughs> Amir al Mu'minin fell on his face to the ground. He was saying, Ya Gulu, Beman Azo, Ya Benta Muhammad, O daughter of Rasulullah, to whom should I Ali, to whom should Ali tell his sorrow after you? Ali was telling you the pain of his heart. For whom should Ali tell his pain now? فَأَقْبَلَ أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ مَسْتَنْ حَتَى دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَشْتْ بَكْ خُمْ فَأَلْقَى رَدَا أَنْ أَوْتَغِهْ وَالْأَمَامَةَ أَنْ رَعْسِهْ When Amir al-Mu'minin reached home, he took off his abba and amama from his head and he came and hugged Zahra's head. Ya Zahra, he's calling Zahra, Falam Takalemu. But she didn't respond. Fanada Haya Penta Muhammad El Mustafa. Oh, daughter of Rasulullah, Falam Takalemu. Zahra didn't reply. Fanada Haya Fatima, Kalemini. Oh, Fatima, talk to me. Fana Abna Amik Ali, I'm your cousin Ali. Don't be like the people of Medina who don't respond to Ali after you. She opens her eyes. Fafada had Aina Hafi Vajheh when Nazarat Eli. Fatima opens her eyes and looks at Amir al Mominin. Then Vabakat Vabako, Zahra is start crying. Amir al Mominin is start crying. Fasho injury mano nade aza kalemini. بری از پیشم میشم خون خراب کلمینی بین این همه سلام بی جواب کلمینی یه کمی حرف بزن علی نمیره حرف رفتن نزن علی میمیره میبارم مثل آسمون برات میکشی منو با عشق بی صداد سرتو بگیر بالا جون علی بمیرم برات انا لله و انا الیه الراجعون و سیعلم الذین ظلم و ایم انقلب این انقلبون و لاغبت للمتقین فیلیز سایل سلامات من محمد و آل محمد
Thank you, Brother Salar. Uh, we didn't have anybody else to recite Urdu. Brother uh, Hasnakar, by any chance, do you have any verses for say the Zahra in Urdu? No, not today. That's that's okay. That's okay. Inshallah, without further ado, we'll, we'll invite uh, Sayyid Farhad. Oh, before I invite him, I just wanted to thank on behalf of the community. I know this is our last majlis with Sayyid Farhad Abbas. So inshallah, we have the opportunity to have you back here soon. And we thank you for accepting the invitation to be with us for the Fatimiya this year. So if we can all invite him to the member with a loud salawat on Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. والمرسلين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين سيما بقية الله في الأرضين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى يوم الدين صلوا على محمد وعلى محمد أما بعد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتاب الحكيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Inshallah, I'd like to, I request you to recite Mansura Fatiha for, if I'm not making mistakes, Sayyid Shakir Hussain, Rizvi, son of Sayyid Ansar Hussain Rizvi, and also include uh, uh, Shahid Qasim Suleimani, Mehdi Mohdis, and other. Marhumin inshallah in your dua. Please decide one surah Fatiha. One more time, I'd like to present my condolences to all of you, all of Mominin and Mominat, to Maharaj Karam, Rehbar Mawazim, and especially to Imam Zaman Jalalahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif for the Shahadat of Hazrat Zahra Salaamu Alaiha. Please say a loud salawat. And I like to also like to thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and especially Imam Zaman to give us this, giving us this opportunity that they invite us for this ayam fatimiya give us this fursat that we can learn from uswai fatimiya seerat of Hazrat zahra salam i mentioned this very first night that seerat of Hazrat zahra salam is very important i decided that hadith qudsi I'm not going to recite because I have a long, so many things to discuss. I'm not going to go for the Arabic, but where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking about, Ya Ahmad, Laulak, Lama Khalaqtul Aflaq. Remember that, if I guess. That Ahmad, Ya Ahmad, Allah is talking to you, Prophet Muhammad. If I have not created you, if you were not there, I have not created this universe. And if Hazrat, if I, if Ali was near there, I have not created you. And if Fatma was not there, I may have not created both of you. So you can understand the uswa of Hazrat Zahra, salamullah alayha, how important it is. Okay? There are so many messages in it. First of all, we need to adopt uswa Hazrat Zahra, salamullah alayha. And that's a message. She is an uswa. She is a role model for both 
مومن مومنين المؤمنات مومنين and especially momina they don't need to look anywhere else towards west or somewhere else and adopt some their ideology you cannot find any other religion where the roles of the ladies are so strong and powerful you see that the most important figures in islam are hazrat zahra salamullah alaiha hazrat zainab salamullah alaiha umm kulthum hazrat ruqayya all these are ladies they saved islam As a Zahra Salamullah Alaiha, you see on one side she is standing as a Shia of Amirul Mu'minin. She is she is saving Walayat and Nabuwat, and also she is performing all of her jobs. On the other side, you see Zainab Salamullah Alaiha that for without any doubt, without any doubt, this statement is a divine statement that if Zainab was not there. people may have forgot the karbala it was zainab who saved karbala so zainab saved karbala as a zahra salamullah alaiha she saved walayat and nabuwat both their uswa is very important for all of his brothers and sisters that's why we have riwayat that imam imam e zaman ajjal allah taala farajahu sharif he himself said that for me there is a uswa in my jadda in the life of my jadda has a zahra salamullah alaiha people translate it in different manner that first of all she didn't do taqayya imam e zaman will not going to do taqayya she was not under the oath of allegiance of any taghut and imam e zaman was never in the oath oath of allegiance of any taghut not not even a minute not for a second and again there are several other uswa but again we need to brothers and sisters i mentioned so many times these majalis is not just for tarwa these majalis are opportunities so we can change our life this is not my subject but and i i was listening this clip from ayatullah jawadi amli i like to share this with you very important i know it's a deep thing but if you play, if you if you pay attention you will learn every time like especially this time when we are entering in a new year 2022 or many of you you may have like uh, i don't know like birthdays and so many other things right beautiful point made by ayatullah jawadi amli he says that when this year change whether that's like 2022 miladi or it's like shamsi like pretty soon it will be march 21st new year noruz and all other days this is this is not the age of a human that's the age of a planet right that's the age of planet it's not the age of human that showing that up to now this many time earth is revolving on the orbit this many time that earth is traveling now what's the age of human yeah his body may be this many years it's on earth but he asked is that what the age of human he says no your age will be how much journey you have how much you moved that was the movement of the earth the earth is revolving and you said ah it's like summer now it's winter now it's a spring oh now it's new year that's not human age he said he asked this question let me ask you how much journey your soul have done towards allah subhanahu wa taala that's your age he said that's why you'll find that maybe someone's body is 80 years old but maybe he has a child in that body someone may have like a 70 years 60 years 50 years 40 years 30 years maybe have a baby inside you need to change again it's a very deep thoughts i, I didn't mean 
this part. The reason I mentioned that, that this is an opportunity, it's not like, it's not a game. We'll come and get thawab and that's it. We are going and that's it. We are, we need for our barzakh and qiyamat because we have wrong conception that we are sleeping in the, in the grave. Who said we are sleeping in the grave? Our body is there. We are in barzakh. We will be in barzakh. Wrong concepts. All these wrong concepts. We need to change it. Every second. If you move our soul towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's our age. That's our age. Let's say how much, like right now, it's almost like 7 p.m. 7 p.m. This many hours, how many, what change happened in our soul today? How many minutes? How much we moved towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's our age. That's our time. That's our clock. Otherwise, it's a clock of our body or clock of this orbit or this earth and all these things. Please decide aloud, Salah. Huh? See, <laughs> it's very hard. I try not to talk about these things. These are very deep topics, okay? Sometimes people say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't understand. So, all right. All right, we're not going to talk about it. I promise I'm not going to talk about it. If you recite a loud salah, I will go and go speak simple things. Please recite a loud salah. All right, let's go to the Uswa of Azza Zahra. We need to learn from Uswa of Azza Zahra. Okay. What says the Uswa of Azza Zahra? I mentioned this yesterday. It's like standing for Walayat. She's standing for Walayat. Okay. She is, uh, have, she has this basirat. Other people, they cannot understand what's going on. She knows her eyes side is basir. She's not just looking one year or two years or three years. She's looking to the end. Her basirat, she have that inside. She understand what's important, what's not important. <laughs> So these are the two swa we talk about. The third swa you notice in the life of Zahra Salamullah Alaiha that she was not going what we have today in environment, in the capitalism, individualism. She was opposite of individualism. Al Jar Thummad Dar. That's her swa. Right? Remember, children, she is. She, she is newly wed. It's her wedding day, and she is wearing the best, the the dress, the wedding dress. And someone is stopped her and says, "Is there anyone who can help me? I'm miskin. I'm fakir." What she is doing? She came home. She says, "Come, follow me." She came in the home, she changed the dress, gave that wedding dress to Fakir. She wore the simple dress, gave it to Fakir. Taking care of others. Prophet came, knock at the door. Zahra, my daughter, this is your first day. Where are you? He saw Zahra, I start crying. Zahra, what happened to your dress? She said, Rasulullah, you taught me. And you do in fact do the best thing. That's as a Zahra. She's hungry. She's giving to the other. She's giving to other. She has so much haya. She's not demanding. Amirul Mu'minin is coming home. Amirul Mu'minin says, Zahra, is there anything to eat? She put her head down. She says, Ya Abul Hassan, we don't have any food for the last two days. Zahra, why didn't you tell me? She says, I feel haya that I put burden on your shoulders. See, that's the uswa. Zahra, salamu This is the uswa. Okay. Don't tell me. Do not, no one should tell me that, okay, that was a Zahra, salamu there was masoom. No, no, come on. We have to follow them. You, you see that fiddha, 
who is with Hazza Zahra Salamullah, she is not Muslim, right? She's also doing, she's also sacrificing because of that. And that's, that's what required from us that we have to be like them. And again, you notice that the people, they have that love, they prove these things. Like you have example of Shaykh Qasim Suleiman. I, I'm, I'm telling you that the, I'm re keep repeating because this is the week of his Shahada, right? He was following Hazrat Zahra Salamul because he used to love Hazrat Zahra Salam. He had this uswa of Hazrat Zahra Salamul look for his support for the Vilayat. Like Hazrat Zahra Salamul Alaiha, she is standing for the Vilayat. Here, Shahid Hasim Suleiman is standing for the Vilayat all the time, all the time. He says, Chesh, Baba. Look for his uh, support for the family. Support for the family. One time he wrote to one of his uh, nephew, Mehdi. And like, look at this. this. This is a letter he wrote for his nephew, Mehdi. He said that, look, you need to follow these three things. You cannot attain anything in this life or hereafter without, without attaining that seher, that morning time. Everything you want. See, this is, again, now look, look at this, Uswai Fatimiya, and look at this capitalism, the culture we are living in right now. Look at that. Culture on capitalism versus Hazrat Zahra Salamullah. Right? Now, Hazrat Zahra, Uswa, which Qasim Soleimani is mentioning, that he's saying that, look, you cannot attain anything without Salatul Layl. Sahar. Awake in the morning. Number one. Second thing he said, all, that's his statement, right? All the all, all the bad things are because of the lying. You're not supposed to lie. That's again, now he's going for worship, ahkam, akhlaq, moral. And the third thing he talked about, walayat. But how walayat? He said, you know that walayat is, the Islam, Islamic hierarchy is totally dependent on walayat. Walayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, walayat of Prophet and Rasul, Walayat of Imam, in the absence of Imam, Wali of Faqih, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you need to have a drill, that's why the Walayat of parents and Walayat of husband, all this, thing. There, although this Walayat of husband is very, very minor, should, no, no one should take this serious, it's very minor, the ladies, they have to live it. Walayat of parents. That's why you open the Quran and Quran is talking about walayat of that. That you cannot say oof in front of your parents, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim. Cannot say oof. Because if you're not going to do this drill, you cannot do the walayat of faqih or you cannot do walayat of Amirul Mumin. You cannot do it. It's, it's, it's a gay, it's like, again, look in the Salat also. Salat said that follow the walayat. Follow the for this moment, this person has nothing. He's just he's standing as an imam. Follow him. When he's reciting surah, you're not supposed to recite. Just listen to him. Rely on his surah. Do not go before him in ruku. Do not go before him in sajda. Have a drill. These drills with like an ordinary imam of salat to parents so you can prepare yourself for the walayat of imam. Otherwise, you cannot do it. You cannot say that okay, I'm, I'm not following my parents. I'm not doing all these things, but I'm going to follow Imam as a man. No, no, it's not going to happen. What are you talking about? You need to have a drill. So now, Qasib Suleimani, when he's writing this letter to his nephew, he's saying, you, do, you should not be ashamed if you have to kiss the hands and the feet of your mother and father. That's what the missing in capitalist environment these days, right? We talk about individualisms. We talk about pleasureism. And again, this, this capitalist society is saying, 
Well, parents, they're supposed to help. That's it. Not more than that. They're like, we are the masters, right? All look at the, all the cartoons and everything. They're just showing. All the time, the children, they're right. That's the that's Uswa of Azza Zahra. Please decide a loud salam. Now, look for the what um, Islam is talking about. Islam is not talking about individualism. Islam is talking about like all the time you have to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like this bond between among mu'mineens. Amirul Mu'minin all the time he was talking about never be, never separate yourself from Mu'minin. Never, never. Like in Nahjul Balagha, in this sermon, he said, Iyakum wal furqa. You're not supposed to be aware of the division. Because if you get isolated, shaitan will be like, Kama an min al If you're like, if you're alone, you're separate yourself, like individualism right now, right? Capitalist society is saying, oh, you need to buy, you're by your own. You take care about your own food. You take care about your own pleasure. Do everything for you. And we have this, again, we are somehow breathing in that culture. Okay, We have that mentality of individualism. Islam is 180 degree opposite. Imam is saying, you're not supposed to separate yourself from the, from the community, from the society. You're not supposed to. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam He said, my father used to gather us, all of us, and said, let's go pray. And I will pray and you say, Ameen. I will pray and you say, Ameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of this jam, Allah will accept dua for everyone. You see that when you're praying, when we have, um, let's say if I'm praying alone, maybe I can have more concentration. I may have all these things. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no, pray in jama'ah. When you pray in Jamaat and there are 10 people, Allah knows how much thawab Allah will give you. How much thawab Allah? If there are 40 mu'minins, they will gather on a funeral and say, Allah, we have not seen anything from, any bad thing from this. Allah says, for the sake of this 40 jam, I'm going to forgive this. See, the jam is important. This, this gathering of mu'minin. And we need to start this from family. You need to have this from family. Family need to have this bond. And look at the shayateen, the devils, they're attacking, exactly they're attacking on the, on the key things because they knows everything. Shaitan did ibadah 6,000 years. He knows malakut. He knows the complete everything. He knows how to attack humans. So look at this. In this century, what they did, they create this individualism. They break the family's structure. Right? That the sacred bond, Shaitan, his first effort is somehow to break this bond. Bond between parents and the children, bonds between brothers and the sisters, bonds with an uncle and, and nephews, bond. Need to save this bond. Need to save this bond. Especially the bond of family. Like I mentioned, that if we have to. If you use Basirat of Hazrat Zahra, Salamullah Aleha, we will work for this bond. Please recite aloud, Salawat. For all this dua we recite, we need to get the messages from there, right? That brother, I, I don't see him today. It's like beautifully recited Hadith Kital yesterday, right? What you do in the, in the end of Hadith Kisa, Ma, Ma Zukira Khabaruna Hada fi Mahafil min Mahafilin, right? Ahlil Ard. What's Allah What's Hadith Qudsi saying? That when the, when the Shia and Muhibin they gathered, Illa wa nazalat alayhimur rahma. When they gathered, here's mashallah, please say a loud salawat. Long age, mashallah. Halal zadeh, mashallah. Please say another salawat. When you gathered, nazalat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts throwing, sending the rahmah on this jam. When we are gathering right now here, see, that's why I, I emphasize we have to gather. When we are sitting over here, believe me, if we raise our hand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of the jam, he will accept this dua. 
That's why we, whenever we gather, we always need to remember like all these marda and all these other sick people and mominin, they have hajat, they're people they are suffering in Yemen, in Palestine, all, we always need to do that. Like Rabbi Mozam, very nice uh, thing he mentioned one time. He says, you know, when these hikers or these, um, the, the expert, the people go on mountains, right? Go Everest or other places. When they're going on a tough train, what they do? They're going in a group, right? They somehow connect each other, right? So if one person falls, the other person will support that person, right? On a tough train, you bind, you bound yourself, you connect yourself with your team. You're going as a team up. And this is the time. It's a tough train. They're attacking. We need to only, only way we will be successful when we are together. And from where we have to start this drill, the first place. I mean, the, some of these great scholars, Aga Mir Bakri, Aga Panahiyan, they have this deep discussion. The discussion is, which is the first thing is important? Can I do like islah and help an individual or a community or a family? All of them, they reach to this conclusion. The first thing is family. If the family is good, the individual will be good and the community will be good. Family is the most important thing. So sub, the focus needs to be on family first. Fix it. And I mentioned yesterday that family is a place of, you need to remember this part. Family is not a play, place of like roommate. Like, all right, we are going over there having fun and all those things. Yes, alhamdulillah, you will get that. No doubt. But then family is a place of ibadah. Riyadha. What are we Three things. Remember this part, right? Ibadah. Riyadat wa tarbiyat, right? Now, ibadah, worship. Remember that you, every time you go for the for this uh, marriage ceremony, majority of the time when ulama, they are reciting the nikah, they recite this hadith, right? That the people when they get married, they save how much religion? 50%, right? Just reciting the siga, you're saving 50% of the religion. See how important the marriage is? Allah loves this marriage. That is Quran, Surah Rum, verse number 21. Allah says, It's my ayat. Right? It's my ayat. It's my sign. And how light we take the families these days? Family these days in the capitalist society is the place of ego. Demand. Like sometimes these young couple, they approach me and says, Maulana, can, we, can you please explain, explain us what's our rights? I says, are you going for a court or what? You go to the court and ask, what's my right? No, 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 that's right. You're, you're, you're making a mistake. What's my right? If I will tell you the right is like, all right, you're not supposed to cook. What, what has Zahra Salamullah alayha, Subhanallah, Salamullah alayha was doing for this, like whatever the life she, nine years she was in the house of Amirul Mominin. What Amirul Mominin, how he was helping as Zahra Salamullah alayha. He was bringing all these like, all these like fuel and everything from outside. He was like helping as Zahra. No, 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 no. House is not a place of ego. Me. House, house is not a place of me. House is a place of we. Not me. We. What, what the other hadith they recite when they're reciting the nikah? When you, when now a married person, when he recites two rakat salat, that's equal to 70. Right? What's happening? You're just deciding a sikha and now it's multiplied by like, what, 30, 35 times now? No, this is, there is a secret. There is a, I need to understand this part, brother. Please say Allah. Yes, sir. We have so many ahadis about the family, I cannot even explain. It's very hard to go through all of those things, okay? But just remember that 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that this is a place. Like I mentioned this hadith. Let me recite that Arabic today, right? Julusul mari in the ayaliha. When a man is sitting with his family, Allah's Prophet is saying that it's, it's near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's more dearer that that person is doing atikaf in masjid haza in this masjid. I mentioned that if lady, a wife, she is like presenting a glass of water, sabab, imagine sabab, how much sabab. If father is kissing a son, if father is going to Walmart and or other place, Kroger, and bringing the grocery, there are a hadith. It said that as such, this person, Allah is giving me so much, so much sabab that as such, he's carrying the sadaqa for the people in Yemen. This much sabab. I, I have less time, so let me go to the second part, which is riyaza. Right? What's Riyaza? It's very hard to translate Riyaza. I have to explain you through this verse of Quran. Okay? And I will explain you by this example. And you will never forget, inshallah. So, house is place of worship. Always remember that part. The second part is house is a place of Riyaza. And I mentioned, I indicated yesterday that one person came near Allah Matabatabai and says, Aga, give me the method, this Saro Saluk. You know, Saro Saluk is a, is a funny terminology moving towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the qurb of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's journey over there, right? So Allah Tabatabai, Allah Matabatai said that, are you, um, are you married or are you single? He says, oh, is there any difference? I mean, whether a person is married or a single? He says, yeah, definitely. I mean, Saro Suluk for a married person is that Dar Guzasht. Forgive. You'll find that so many times there will be a conflict among spouses and they have to forgive each other. And that will, that will help you. Let me recite this verse so you can understand. Please recite a loud salawat. I believe that Surah Nisa, verse number 19, Wa Ashiru Hunna Bil Maruf. All right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, again, this instruction is as important as Aqimu Salah. It's not that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Aqimu Salat. Oh, Salat is wajib because Marjay said Salat is wajib. All right, this place is also wajib. Wa ashiru hunna bil maruf. Consort with them in an honorable manner. Ashiru, have zindagi, have this life, spend the life. Bil maruf. Ashuru hunna bil ma'roof. You have an honorable life. Well, in, oh no, it's not, it's not easy because most of the time we try our best, but still we find there are not compatibilities. And by the way, if anyone is dreaming, he can find a spouse who will have 100% compatibility. It means you're watching the movies from Hollywood or Bollywood or I don't know which would. I'm very honest with you. The problem with these shayateen through movies they are showing the life is something else. You're seeing each other and there is a click and again, oh my God, I love you. I love you. Which color you like with this thing. And again, it's a beautiful life, everything and the song and, and everything and going home and, and the marriage and that film, the movie end with a very good note. We expect the same thing in the life. That's not the, the life is not the life, movie. If someone who's not married and is listening to my speech, go and check with all the people they're married and find out is you can, if you find a one single couple and they say, they, they put their hand on the Quran, they say, we are 100% compatible. Or say, the khasam of Abul Fadl al Abbas, that we are 100%. No, come on. You have to adjust. You have to. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, if you're so lucky, if you have like 70, 80, 90% compatibility, that's you're so lucky, mashallah. You, were, you made a good choice, very good, mashallah. Congratulations to you for that 10% compromise. Compromise. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking. Let's say if there is, it should you dislike them, <laughs> right? Allah is talking about. Allah said, look, maybe 
you dislike something while Allah invested with an abundant good. Okay. Again, it's not just like male or female, both of them. Allah is talking about both. Okay. Allah is talking about the spouse that, all right, look, Ashurhunna bil maruf. Nice, have like a nice maruf life with them, good life with them. All right. And in case like you don't like them, then understand this part. Asa an, an takrahu shayas, majority of the time, say basa, like sometime it happened that you dislike something. Allah put khair kathir in the same thing. That's what the riyazat means. Okay, you're not understanding. Let me give you more. Let's say you have not heard. Alhamdulillah, you heard. That's why this example is not a very fair example. I'll give you a better example after this. Okay. You right now heard already that going to gym is good for your body. That's why it's not like you're not. But let, let's say, let's imagine you bring someone who has no imagination about gym or anything. You say, you bring him and say, hey, come on, stand up on this, on this uh, treadmill or on this machine. And when he start doing, he's like, he start tying his muscles. They start like, like pain and sweating and all this. <laughs> What's happening? He says, come on, wait. There's good goodness in it. Just to sabr. Just to sabr. There will be goodness in it. Like I mentioned last time, right? If, if, you, if someone will tell you that you've been selected for the national team, national team, then obviously you need to have a good coach which should train you, right? Otherwise you're not going to win. So again, and in order, to, in order to have a good coach, good coach will basically put you in the trial. So many things, tough things. He's not going to let you, he's not going to say, go sit down, uh, Muhammad Ali, go sit down on a couch, drink Pepsi and enjoy the life. And again, we're going to play in the game. He's not going to let you do that. He will say, all right, wake up, 5 a.m., go run, 5 miles, come on and do, right? And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing with us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you don't know. You dislike something and Allah put khair kathir in the same thing which you dislike. Allah will give you progress through the same thing. There is a riyaza in it. Let me give you this now easy example so you can understand. Sayyid Hashim Musawi Haddad. You heard the name, right? Sayyid Hashim Musawi Haddad. He was a student of Qazi Tabatabai. Like Allama Tabatabai, he was a student. He was an Arif, right? He wrote that famous book. What's the name? There's a famous book he wrote, right? About his journeys and guru. Sayyid Hashim Musawi Haddad. He approached to, he, he had a problem in his, in his family. He approached to Qazi Tabatabai and says, you know, Qazi, Mustad, I need, I need some guidance from you. Qazi Tabatabai, I think all of you know Qazi Tabatabai, right? Right? You heard the name Aga Bahajat, Allah Matabatabai, all these Urafa, all of them, somehow they are students of Qazi Tabatabai, right? His grave is in Najaf, in Darus Salam, right? Great, great Arif, right? So again, he approached uh, Qazi Tabatabai and said, Aga, Ustad, I need some guidance from you. All right, he says, what kind of a guidance do you need? He says, I want to give divorce to my wife. He says, huh? You want to divorce to your wife? He says, yeah. Are you, don't you like each other? No, no, we like each other. Then what's the problem? No, I, actually, I'm tired from my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, she has this tongue, which like, it's like a Scorpio. She bites me all the time. And again, she is like, Always teasing me, always like saying something which like I my soul get burned because Sayyid Haddad he was like he was not he was not rich so 
she always she whenever she used to see sayyid hashim haddad she said she used to taunt and say something and again azida bada wai said like no 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 if that's the case i'm not going to allow you to go and divorce your wife he says but aha uh, uh, my wife cannot live with without her mother Ghazi said that Ghazi Taba Taba said that Allah put that your tarbiya in the, in this same, your riyazat in in this, and Allah will open the doors for you. Just go bear with her. Say the Hashim Haddad said that I removed this idea of divorcement, and he himself said that uh, one day I came to my house. <laughs> and my mother in law she was sitting near hot <laughs> and as soon as she saw me she start taunting me and this time what she did she start disrespecting my mother oh my god as she as soon as she start cursing my mother my i got so much anger and like frustration and i was trying to say something and i says ah my ustad said this is your riyaza this is your riyaz this is the time you have to control this is your exercise this is your gym he says i control myself and i came out he said as soon as i came out allah subhanahu wa taala at that time removed the curtain and i i saw that one hashim haddad who's nurani is going on this way and another sayyid hashim haddad who is zulmani is going on other side because now you know that we we have this soul which is nurani and our animalistic body our existence on zulmani and i i saw this scene i start seeing that malaku and that was the first time allah opened that malakut for me and i was i was enjoying it for several minutes i was there and then it got removed i came out in my senses i came back to the house i came near my mother in law and i kissed her hand and said thank you mom she says thank you for what He says, "You don't know what you gave me." <laughs> She says, "What did I give you? I gave you like all these curses and everything." He says, "No, you don't know what you gave me." Thank you. He come and he kisses her face. This is Riyaza, brothers. Sometimes we said, "All right, let me go and do this amal and that amal and other things." Allah said, "No, oh, come on. Look at that. Let me re recite this verse again." وَأَشِرُهُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ Have life, this consort with them in the most honorable manner. For in kareh to muhunna, and if you dislike them, for asa. Now remember this sentence. For asa an takrahu shayya, wa yajalul lahu fi khairan katira. That majority of the time, or sometime, you dislike something, and Allah, in that same thing which you dislike, Allah put khair katir. Allah put khair katir. All of us said, "No, no, no. We want to go to Syria. We want to go to Yemen. We want to do this. We want. You don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> If Allah needs you, Allah will send you over there. Go and go your gym, which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala created for you. Do the exercise in the gym, which Allah created for you. Allah knows. Allah is the best planner. House is the mahal of Riyadh." This is not the mahal of ego. Me, me, me. Someone will say something, and you're like, the fire will start burning. Oh my God! This person disrespected me. No, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala had a plan because Allah know with this me you cannot enter into the paradise because that me is that idol that both.
Have you not seen that someone who made his hawa, his ilah? Is that for verse of Quran? What is that? Afara'ayta manilladhi manilladhi takhada hawa'ahu ilah. Have you not seen that one who made his hawa, his ilah? You think that with shirk we can enter into the barzak or paradise? We go through the barzak and we go millions of years in order to remove and summon the angels because we love Alul Bayt. So they will have to help and have surgery and remove that me somehow from our soul. Now the easier way is remove it over here in your house. You'll be extremely angry and you control your anger. Go take, do wudu. Wash your face and say Allah for you. Just for you. Because I know you promised that. You don't know that Allah, what Allah put in this. And you know what happened? Allah, see, this is a secret. Now, Sayyid Hashim Haddad said, you know, after that incident, the behavior of my mother-in-law changed. So Allah is not that Allah gave him only malakut. Allah said this behavior also changed. She realized that, that my son-in-law is Buzurgwar. He's such a nice person. And her behavior changed. See, in the end, we are dealing with humans. We are not, de we are not dealing. I strongly believe we are not even dealing with evils. All these humans, they have like this behavior because of the misunderstandings. If you have a nice behavior and if you do sabr, you see that other part. Sometimes you like to change someone by holding their neck and say, change it. It's very hard. That's not the way to change. Change is with that Allah's process. If he's not that changing, if she is not changing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will create khair kathir for you. You need to understand this part. Brothers and sisters, please decide the loud salawat. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot go. See, that I'm just going to go with these two hadith and I'm going to finish. Time is almost over. That Allah, so many times we ask, all right, what we do in order to remove the Adab Quran? We do all these things. I don't know. It's like. Prophet said that if someone likes to have removed Adab Qabr, there are three things. Salata, Minan Nisa, Yarfaullahu Anha, Adab al Qabr. There are three things. And again, it's not for Nisa, it's for man as well. Alavvalo, again, I'm not going to go for all of these things. The first one, he says that Imra'a sabarat ala faqri zawja. That, that the lady, she do sabr on the faqr of her husband. And again, the other, other thing, and same, the third one, which is also, again, the first one also common for them, both men and women and the ladies and men. Like the same thing, a man, he will basically do sabr on like misbehaving. Like the third one says, sabr to Allah su'e khalq is Let's say your husband has su'e khalq. He has a bad morals, have bad tongue, bad something, right? Do sabr. Believe me that your adab qabr is removed. That's it. Your adab qabr is removed. You already been fishar in this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to put you over there. All right, let me go to the third one and I'm going to finish. Inshallah, another time we'll talk about this thing. Please decide another loud salawat. And again, the house, so house is a place of worship. House is a place of riyaza. Now you understand riyaza, right? And house is a place of tarbiyah, upbringing. Now, whenever we talk about tarbiyah, yes, of course, people think, oh, house is a tarbiyah of the children. Yes, of course, of course, you're right. But then again, tarbiyat is start with ourselves first, right? First, we do tarbiyat of ourselves and for the other people. Because house is the best place that we can recognize ourselves. You recognize other people when you're traveling with them, when you have financial dealing with them, or when they're angry. And all these things happen at home, right? You're just traveling with your spouse. You have dealing with the financial things. When you're ang angry, you see the other face, right? So again, all these things are creating riyaza and other things. But again, I'm just, I'm not going to spend time on this one. 
um, then when this uh, verse um, got revealed, Surah Tahrim, verse number six, Ya yulazina amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara, that, oh people, oh believers, you need to save yourself and uh, your ahl for your family from the fire. Then um, Jabir bin Abdullah Ansari, he approached uh, Prophet and says, uh, Ya Rasulullah, I understand saving ourselves, right? But how to save the family? That was his question. Okay. I'm just going to go with this hadith and inshallah, another time we'll discuss this thing and inshallah, Sheikh Jafar will continue this. Member replied, Amalul Khair. See now, he, that's, he, that's how you do tarbiyat. I'm going to just go this hadith. Just, you can somehow remember that meaning. So how to do tarbiyat? Prophet is not saying come and sit down with them or take them to the Sunday school or teach them I come or do this thing. He says, no, you start from here. Ahmalul khair. You do perform khair by yourself. Wadakkaru bihi ahlikum. Then you do dhikr, you do the tazakkur. Then remind them. Wa addabuhum and then do their adab and then do tarbiyat. Ala ta'atillah. There are three things, right? Ahmalul khair. That first you perform khair. Inshallah, a time is coming where I have to have classes on child psychology, like I indicated yesterday, that we need to understand that children for the first seven years, they're building their uh, subconscious mind. Their personality, whole personality is getting developed at that first seven years. The second seven years, and again, you know that maruf hadith, that first seven years, they're Treat them like a king. The next seven years basically do adab, right? That's the time they have to teach them adab. And the next seven years, keep them as a mushavir, as they're like, you help them, right? You take them as a mushavir, as your um, advisors, right? Or you had become their advisor. So, amalul um, khair, which means everything you like that your child need to learn, you do it. You do it, especially when they're young. You like to have them pray on time, you pray on time. All these mothers, they like to have their daughters wear the hijab, you wear hijab first. All of them, they don't like to have a bad, bad company, you avoid your bad company. If you have bad company by yourself, how you're expecting from your child to avoid that bad company? Then you like them to be love you, then you love them, right? All these things, amalul khair, that first you do khair. You don't want them to lie, you don't lie to them. You want them to keep promise, you promise, you keep promise with them. It's not this tarbiya, like look at the prophet's life, right? Prophet, before he announced his prophet, 40 years he was attracting people because of his akhlaq, because of his personality. He was proving himself first. People, everyone used to see Prophet, he says, Amin, Sadiq. Right? I'm sorry I took too much time, but that's where we have to like, uh, make sure that we... Uh, there are so many ahadiths where, let's, let's say that even you want to give a sadqa, give the sadqa in the hand of the child, so he will give sadqa. So you can, this way, you can teach them. Um, and we see that in the life of Addabuhum uh, ala ta'atillah, we see that uh, as a Zahra, alayha, she was doing it. When, um, again, I'm going to just talk about this and go for the Messiah. Um, as a Zahra, alayha, she used to live in the house and the Prophet is delivering a sermon. Now, this, this happens some to most of the time that Imam Hassan, who's just young, He is like, uh, he's listening the khutbah of sermon of his uh, grandfather and he's coming home and he's uh, explaining that sermon to mom. He's like, he's sitting on a member or someplace and he's saying to mom. So when Imam Ali is entering, as a Zahra Salamullah Alaiha, she's saying, Ya Abul Hassan, Ya Ibn Am, I heard that Baba said this, Rasulullah said this. And says, Imam Ali says, How did you know? He says, No, Imam Hassan came and he mentioned. So Imam Ali had this like this shock. He says, I like to listen to Hassan also, right? So one day Imam came a little bit early and he 
was hiding himself behind the curtain. He was hiding himself in the room. Now, Imam Hassan came as usual and he started he start doing khutbah. And now this time he was like, he was not, he was not fluent. He was like, like he, he, was, he had problems. So he said, Ya Umma, ka'anna kulla lasani la Allah sayyada yaran. That my, I'm, my heart, my, my tongue is not working with me because as such someone, a buzurg personality is watching us. Imam Ali came outside. See, this is Imam, right? Imam came outside, hug Hassan, Imam Hassan. See, even their Imam, they're infallible, but they're teaching us how to, how to behave, right? So that, that's the house. They used to care each other. And again, that's also the pain for Imam Ali. Because Imam Ali, when he was uh, moving from uh, Mecca to Medina, you see, there were two times Prophet hand over the amana to Imam Ali. One time before his marriage, when Prophet left Makkah, and Imam Ali, he has to bring Fatimi Yun, three Fatimas. He need to bring. He need to bring Fatima binti Asad, Fatima to Zahra, and there was another Fatima. He has to bring. Now, Imam Ali is young. It's very young. And Imam and Prophet gave this as an amana to Imam Ali. Imam is coming and now when the mushrikeen, they realize that Prophet left, now they, take, they have to take a revenge. Okay, They're going to come attack. They, they understand. Now, the daughter of Prophet, she's going from this path they start following Amirul Mumin. Amirul Mumin, although he was young, when they approached this Mushrikeen approach, he fought so bravely. He fought so bravely that all of them they ran away. Although Amirul Mumin got injured a little bit, he came near near his mother and Fatima Zahra. Fatima Zahra was only nine years old at that time. And said, uh, "Yeah, Fatima, don't don't need to be worried. Enemies are gone." As a Zahra Salamullah Alayha said that I know, Ya Ibn Am, oh my cousin, I know when Ali is there, we feel peace. And that statement, Amirul Mu'minin, made Amirul Mu'minin cry all his life because. <laughs> On the day of marriage, Prophet, Prophet one time hold the hand of Azza Zahra Salamullah. And he said, Ya Ali, Fatima is my amana to you. And then, and then because of this wasiya of Prophet, the Prophet said that, Prophet informed Imam Ali, Prophet took this promise from Imam Ali that Jibra, Imam Ali, come here. Jibrail came here. Jibrail gave me a news that after my death, they will not going to let you sit on the, on the Khilafat. Will you accept it? Imam Ali said, yes, I will accept that. They says they will disrespect you. He says, I will accept that. They says they will, they will hit your head with the sword. He says, I will accept, Ya Rasulullah. But then when Rasulullah said they will go disrespect Zahra. This was very hard of Amirul Mu'minin. He fell on the ground. He fell on the ground. His ghairat man. In my life, they will disrespect Zahra. Your amana, ya Rasulullah. <laughs> but that was a promise. Now imagine Amirul Mu'minin was in home. When you listen that, when you as a Shia of Zahra, when you listen what this Malon they did with us as Zahra, Salamullah alayha, they came and they disrespected Zahra. They not only disrespected in some of the Rivayat, there's this Malon slap as a Zahra. 
They hit the Zahra Salamullah alayha, and her ribs got broken. And this Malone Khunfaz came and he hit the Zahra Sahir. Now imagine the pain in Ali's heart. That's why at the night, like this was the night when Imam Ali, Imam Ali, he gave the ghusl of the Zahra Salamullah alayha. And then he invited that seven people. The people, these people came and they did salat and then imam ali came and he brought has a zahra salamullah alayha near the grave and imam is sitting over there the two hands came out from the grave imam ali hand over the body of us a zahra salamullah alayha and here imam ali said ajumla he said ya rasul allah this is your amana i am i am so ashamed. I was not able to save your Aman. That was one Fatima. That was one Fatima. And again, there was another Fatima. A child Fatima. A child Fatima. Sahira. She also got slapped by Shivar Malu. She also got slapped by Shivar Malu. She was there, and again she in the harabe. She was remembering the Baba the same way as the Fatima to Zara. She was remembering her Baba. She was remembering Rasul Allah that Fatima to Sogra, Azrat Rukhaya, Azrat Sakina. She was remembering Baba Hussein. But Baba Hussein is not coming. And when she saw in the dream the same way as the Fatima to Zara. Before the Shahada, she saw Rasul Allah in that dream. In that dream, she saw Rasul Allah. That Rasul Allah came in her dream. The same way, Rukhaya and Sakina, Fatima to Sakira, she saw in that dream, Imam Hussain came and she looked at the Baba. Baba, now you came. And she started complaining, Baba, after you, the his enemies, they were slapping me. Baba, my chadar, Baba, my chadar of my puppy, Amma. She was crying and she realized she is awake. She woke up and she started crying. And finally, they brought the head of Imam Hussein. She was waiting that Baba will come. Baba will hold her and she, Baba, will kill. Is, uh, but now the Baba came. Baba came without the body. But she was looking at the head. Finally, she came near the head of Imam who said, Baba, you cannot hold me, but I can hold you. She was holding the head of the Baba. Baba, Baba, she started looking at the head and look at the look at the beard. Baba, Baba, who colored your beard with your blood? She looked at the way and she, Baba, Baba, who cut your head? Baba, why am I still alive? She put her head on the face on the Imam who said, she was crying. Yeah, Baba. One time, her sound was stopped coming. Imam Zainul Abidin came forward. She came, he came near her. Sakina, he says, Sakina. He called Zaina, Pupam, Pupam, Ma. Inna lillahi wa inna for the sake of Hazrat Zahra Salamullah. For the sake of Fatima Sura. Please accept this majlis. Give thawab for all these marhumin, especially Sayyid the Ruh of Sayyid Shakir Hussein Rizdi, and the Arwa of all Mu'minin and Mu'minat, and Arwa of Shahda, Arwa of Ulmai Rabbani, especially Rahbar Kabir. Barilaha. Fulfill the hajat of all mu'minin and mu'minat. For the sake of Azazah. And mu'minat. Barilaha. 
bar ilaha this nemat of iman you gave us help us to transfer this iman to our children bar ilaha this nemat of the mohabbat of ahl al bayt please help us to transfer this to our children bar ilaha have give shifa for all the marda bar ilaha have maghfirat for all of our marhumin bar ilaha protect our families protect mujahideen protect ulama rabbani protect tribe muazzam bar ilaha hasan the zahur of our beloved imam and give us a tawfiq that we and our children will be among the awan and ansar of our imam rahim allah man qari al fatiha ma salawat माता में हुसैन ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है हक मांगने जो जहरा हक मांगने जो जहरा दरबार में गई है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है आवाज आ रही है मैं बिंत मुस्तफा हूँ बाबा के कल मगोयो मैं ही तो फातिमा हूँ पहचानने से दुनिया इनकार कर रही है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है सुन कर सलाम है दर कोई नहीं है रुकता वाजिब नहीं समझता कोई जवाब देना अफसोस फातिमा भी ये बात जानती है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत मस्जिद में सर झुकाए मौला खड़े हुए हैं हाकिम की तोहमतों को चुपचाप सुन रहे हैं से दीका सब के आगे झुटलाई जा रही है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत ये गुरबत अली है कहती है रो के जहरा जान न दूंगी तन पट के मैं मुर्तजा के है हाथ सैदा का अब है किसी का दुर्रा और दो तरे नबी है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत मजलूम कर बला को याद आ गई सकीना बेटी पे मुस्तफा की कुनफुज कहा तो उठा पहलू में मुर्तजा की तलवार रो पड़ी है 
ye ghurbat ali hai ye ghurbat ali hai ye ghurbat pehlu bhi hai shikasta haathon pe bhi hai chale hai aap ki amanat hai aap ki amanat अब आपके हवाले ये कह के मुर्तजा ने मैयात नबी को दी है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है ये गुरबत अली है सलात रहा मोहम्मद السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا محمد بن عبد الله السلام عليك يا خاتم النبيين السلام عليك يا ابو سعاد المرسلي السلام عليك وعلى ابن عمك المكين المصين امين علي بن ابي طالب رحمه الله وبركاته السلام عليك وعلى المظلومه المكسور والعها المقبول ولدها فاطمه الزهراء سيده نساء العالمين رحمه الله وبركاته السلام عليك وعلى الحسن والحسين والتسعه المعصومين من ذريه الحسين لا سيما بقيه الله في الارض السلام عليك يا سيدي ومولاي يا امير المؤمنين ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام على فاطمه الزهراء سيده نساء العالمين السلام على ابي الفضل العباس ساقي عطا شاكر ولا السلام على الحوراء زينب بن تمير المؤمنين السلام على المستشهدين يوم الطف مع العباس عبد الله وعثمان وجعفر من ذريه امير المؤمنين ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام على هم البنين الطاهره واولادها الشهداء السعداء السلام عليك يا سيدي ومولاي يا ابا عبد الله والتقدر السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى اولاد الحسين وعلى اصحاب الحسين السلام على علي السجاد ومحمد الباقر السلام على جعفر الصادق السلام على موسى بن جعفر باب الحواج السلام على سيد مولى علي بن موسى الرضا امام الشيعة والزوار يوم الجزاء السلام على علي الهادي وحسن العسكري السلام عليك يا مولاي يا صاحب العصر والزمان السلام عليك يا خليفه الرحمن السلام عليك يا شريك القران السلام عليك يا امامي وامام الانس والجان السلام على المستشهدين يوم الطف مع الحسين السلام على الشيعة والزوار الموالى 